Okay, first and foremost, I want to give all honours and praises and glory belongeth to my Lord and Saviour. His name is Yahweh Bahasham Yahabashai Bahasham Wahavakar Kodash. And double honours to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that teach us truth well and that continue to teach us truth well. And to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning okay across the globe and i want to say for giving me the strength okay to get out here forgive me the spirit and forgive me the strength to get out here but this is the only way we could do this this is not of our own accord okay so i want to start with romans 12. this is romans 12. i beseech you therefore Brethren, by the mercies, right now this is mercy, even though it is truth, it's mercy. Being able to being able to um, partake in this ministry, it's mercy. Okay. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, and you're going to have to bear with me because. Brothers have got ailments, so you're gonna have to bear with me. If I'm a bit slow, if I'm stuttering, it's the elements, okay? But we're gonna deal with that, we're gonna get through it by the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. We can't let anything stop us, okay? We can't let sicknesses or nothing stop you, okay? We actually present your bodies a living sacrifice. This is what we're out here to do. We're out here to present our bodies a living sacrifice. Anything can happen to us out here, okay? We're, we're, we're somewhat vulnerable, okay? So what, we present our bodies as a living sacrifice. Holy and acceptable, so the sacrifice needs to be acceptable. Not any sacrifice, okay? And this is an acceptable sacrifice, what we're doing right now. Which is your reasonable service, this is our reasonable service okay and be not conformed to this world see the men of lord they're not going to be conformed joint unto this world you understand they're not going to be joint unto the world they're going to be in the world but they're not going to be of the world okay so be transformed by the what the renewing of your mind see your mind is supposed to be renewed okay this is what this word's supposed to do. Renew you every single day. The outward man perisheth, but the inward man is renewed. Because the Lord, he deals with sacrifice. Quickly want to go to um, Proverbs. And 25. The desire, the desire of the slothful. Okay, some of the slothful is lazy. They're remiss because... Are you going to find yourself doing more work for, for Esau but you're not doing more work for the Heavenly Father, you have a shy? That doesn't add up, okay? It doesn't add up, okay? The, the, the desire of the slothful killeth him because guess what? If you're slothful, it's only going to lead to your own death. You understand? So the desire of the slothful killeth it. Okay? Because if you're slothful, how is that bringing forth life? That's not bringing forth life. You're actually bringing what? Death upon yourself. Okay? For his hands refuse to labour. And this is a labour of love. Yeah, okay, you, you labour for Esau. You did this and do that, but who's in a better position? The individual that's labouring for Esau but he's not doing the work of the Lord, Yahweh Shai. Then that man that is actually labouring for Yahweh Shai. Because at the end of the day, Yahweh Shai ain't going to ask you, oh, how much hours was you working for? He's not going to ask you that. He's going to ask you, what was you doing for me? So all this other stuff, it's just, um, it's just, what is it, what is it, what is it? It's just to pass the time. It's just to make, make a bit of money to put food on the table. A lot of men's priorities are all messed up. 
you work to eat. Because if you don't work, you don't eat. And that's it. Okay? But more men, more men are more focused on what they're doing outside. Remember, you always put the spiritual first. So you're not growing because you're not putting the spiritual things first. So, so, some of the stuff you hear come out of men's mouths in the truth. What, it, it doesn't matter what you're doing. Out, really out, you're never really outside of the truth, but you understand what I'm saying? Because you're always in the truth. It doesn't matter about your so-called businesses you run, because all that's going to be done away with. That's why the scriptures, Yahweh said, they are of the world, therefore they speak of the world. Yahweh is not concerned with what you're doing in the world. He's concerned with you this truth. Because even when you're at work or you're, you're occupied paying merchandise, what are you thinking about? Are you thinking about the truth? Because that's all that matters. Why are you worried about what a man's doing other than the truth? This is what matters. You worried about all that other stuff. Proverbs 22, Salakia man. It just, you know, sometimes it just, it just gets you mad because it's like the mindset men are in. A man, a man would be, a man could be lukewarm, slothful, just outright wicked, and he'd be looking at you like you're doing something wrong. But that man that's diligent, he's in a better position than you. He has more favour than you. Why? Because he's putting your house right forward. This is what you've got to understand. You worried about all that other stuff. It doesn't matter. Because when it's all said and done, this society is going to crash. So what's going to really matter? Your effort that was put towards the other shy. But if you're of the world, if you're small in the mind, your whole mindset's going to be speaking about rubbish. Okay? Because you could be lazy towards the truth and diligent for Esau. And what, what do you think your house is going to do? Bear me just a minute. See, this type of attitude, the sacrifice, bear me just a minute. He, he coveted greedily all day long. So you could be coveting after money all day long. But the righteous giveth and spareth not twofold. So the righteous giveth, and what are we giving you this word? And spareth not. We're not sparing, we're giving you, and we're giving generously in large amounts. Okay. Verse 27, the main point. The sacrifice of the wicked. So you could be given a sacrifice and that sacrifice might just be wicked. So the sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination. So if you're doing a sacrifice and it's a wicked sacrifice or you're deemed wicked, that sacrifice it's an abomination to the Heavenly Father. Okay? That's why, yeah, you give a sacrifice, but what type of sacrifice are you giving? Because man just think, all right, let's just do a video. No, no, it's, it's more, there's more to it than that. It needs to be an acceptable sacrifice, because if it's not acceptable, it's wicked. Just like Cain's sacrifice. Cain's sacrifice, it was wicked. You understand? It wasn't an acceptable sacrifice. The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination. How much more when he bringeth it with a wicked mind? So you could be given a sacrifice, but because you're not bringing it with uh, the righteous intent, then that's why it says, how much so if he bringeth it with a wicked mind? So if you have that mindset, oh, I'm just going to do a video, so the elder apostles, they get off my back. I don't really want to do it. That's you bringing a sacrifice with a wicked mind. It's got to be a sec. You've got to be really, really particular with the sacrifices you are making. It can't just be anything. Now, not all your videos are going to be super duper edifying, but you want to make sure you took them time with that sacrifice. Your sacrifice is your time, your effort, studying. Going back to studying, the scripture says study to be quiet. Okay, and I just, I'm studying to be quiet, but again, 
Because I'm just using this as an example. I was reading the whole book of Philippians yesterday and the whole book of, um, what's it, Titus. You have to read these books, go over it over and over again. Okay? So you get that understanding, so it builds up your faith. That's how your faith is built up. By studying, by reading. You can't, you can't serve two masters. Yahabashai said that. Yahabashai made it clear. You cannot serve two masters in this truth. Let's go to Matthews. Matthew 6. Get straight to it. This is Matthew 6 and start at 19. Nay, not after yourselves, treasures up on earth. So the spiritual man, they're not going to be doing that. They're going to be laying up spiritual treasures. Treasures according to the Holy Spirit. Okay? Where moth and rough does corrupt. Because moth and rough, it corrupts. It eats. Okay. But where thieves do break through and still, because thieves can break through and still anything you have, any given time. So what's the main thing to be laying up? These words of eternal life. That's what we're laying up. You've got to understand the severity of what we're doing. Because if you don't see it as important, any of it important, then you're not going to be laying up treasures upon earth. Okay. It's very fundamental, this truth. You understand? Let's go. But lay up for yourselves treasures upon heaven. So this is what we're supposed to be laying up. Treasures upon heaven. Which is this word. This is the ultimate treasure. This is the riches. Okay? Lay up for yourselves treasures upon earth. So again, these are the treasures. Okay? But neither moth nor rust, rust doth corrupt. Moth and rust don't corrupt everything else out here. Okay? Neither where thieves break through and steal. Thieves cannot break through and steal this word. Thieves cannot steal this. What you've got laid up between you and your have a share, the time that you put in, no man can take that from you. You understand? The time that other men did not put in, they're going to try to steal that from you. But they can't steal that from you. Okay? Because this was, this was between you and Yahweh Shai. You understand? So lay it for yourself, trust upon heaven. No other person can steal this. This is your personal treasure. Nobody. They might try to. They might try to covet your spirit. They might try to talk like you, mimic you, but it's not going to work. Because you've been blessed with your own particular spirit. Okay? Verse 21. For where your treasure is, your treasure is what you value. And this is your Habesha speaking. Okay? Where your treasure is, where will your heart be also? What you value, where your mind is, where your treasure is, that will your heart be also, your mind, okay? If your mind is preoccupied on foolishness, your merchandise of the world, running a business, Esau's business, or, or your own business, then that's not the work of Yahweh Shai. That's not the work of Yahweh Shai, okay? But where your treasure is there will your heart be also. Okay? So if your mind's preoccupied on the scriptures, that's where your mind's gonna be. Without fail. The light of the body is the eye. If the eye be single, the whole body shall be full of light. So it tells you that the light of the body is your eye. It goes into your mind. So your whole mind's gonna be what? Full of light. It's going to radiate. You're going to have a lightness about you. You're going to have a radius about you. You're going to have a glow about you. Okay? Because your mind's preoccupied on the truth. See, 
what else we've got. But if the I be evil, okay. So again, how is one's I evil? When that I goes into mind. So how does a man's, man's mind become evil? Because there's many ways that happens. By not being in the truth. By not thinking, by being lukewarm. So you're not giving it your all for this truth. You start to become evil. Toward the brethren. The light of the body is the eye. If the whole eye be single, the whole body shall be full of light. So it lets us know. Your whole body's gonna be full of, of light. Bear me just a minute. If the eye be what? Evil, the whole body shall be full of darkness. So guess what? Dark darkness is eventually gonna show. It's gonna show. Why? Because what's overtooken you? The world. So when this world overtakes you, what is there? Nothing but darkness. Okay? And that's what you don't want. How great is that darkness? The scriptures say. If that light is that is in the darkness, how great is that darkness? That's why you don't want to be overcome by this world. No man can serve two masters. So, again, I always say this. You can't have it both ways. You can't have it where you want one foot in the truth, one foot in the world. Why? Because your house is going to see that and it's going to see what you're wish washing. Okay? And eventually that's going to upset him. He's looking for those that are all in. Not half us. Not wish washing. Not, ah, oh, I'm on fire one day and the next day I don't know. No, your house show wants you to be on fire all the time as much as possible not now one day I'm feeling it the next day I'm not feeling it no that's not acceptable okay you gotta be all in this it's all or nothing that's the mentality it's what's the excuse I'm feeling, I'm feeling sick right now, but I still got my ass out here. Well, really, you have a show got me out here. Okay. It's by the spirit and power of your heart, by Shem Okay. That he got me out here, and it's beautiful. You know, in our weakness, you have a power is shown. So in our weakest moment, you have a gets us through. And you have to believe that, because not a lot of men believe that, even in this truth. They're dragging, they're dragging their feet. You know? You know a man by his actions. By his actions towards his Yahabashai. His mindset. What's your mindset towards Yahabashai? Are you a fighter? Huh? Let's continue. Matthew 6 and 24. No man can serve two masters. You can't have it both ways. You can't be trying to serve Esau, but trying to serve Yahweh Shai. No, you cannot drink the cup of um, devils and serve the Most High. Okay, you do things in the world, yeah, that's just to get by. Okay, to, uh, and, and to a means, that's all. Your daily bread. But you're not supposed to be invested in this world. A lot of men, they're invested in this world. They're invested in this society. Our investment is not in this world. We're making spiritual investments. A spiritual investment is forever. The investment of the world is only temporal because we know the end of this place. But even you got men in the truth that they don't even understand that. The investments we're making are eternal. So we're not concerned with the temporal. So what? It doesn't, all that doesn't matter. You need to get your priorities in the right order. You understand? You know what? You, 
Um, you know what? A lot of you, you know what it is. Yeah, I know what it is. A lot of you got you got a money complex. You got a money complex. Okay. Well, your your mind's all messed up. You thinking? Let me deal with the carnal first. Then we deal with the spiritual. No, that just means your house ain't gonna increase you in the spiritual. It's just gonna leave you there because you never learned to put the spiritual things first. You were always about the carnal. So that's where your house is going to leave you. That's why he's going to leave your mind there. You're supposed to be more concerned with the spiritual things. And your house deals with everything else. But if you're small in the mind, you're not going to see it that way. No man can serve two masters, but he will, he will either hate the one, so you're going to hate one, and love the other. Okay, so you're going to pick one over the other. So you're going to either pick the world, or you're going to pick the other shine. And it's easy, that should have that should already gone without saying. Okay. can't make up your mind and what you see in this truth when you can't make up your mind guess what you have a shot will make it up for you he will make that decision for you seeing that you want to be worldly you have a shot will put that situation in front of you okay when he has you serving the world I'm not serving Yahweh Shai. Okay? That's what he do. And you've seen it many times. Brothers that may have been once diligent. And what does Yahweh Shai do? He gives them over to that. Because first, what it, obviously is that he warns you. He warns you through his men. He lets you know. Bro. Well, because another thing, you had what? Doubting Thomas. But Thomas, he still believed, but he was very doubtful. But that, again, that's where you gotta, you got to um, deal with brothers accordingly. Okay? You see, this brother's doubtful. He has a very doubtful spirit, but you still work with him if he's still in the fight. But you let him know, you warn him. Like, brother, what's going on? Okay? You're not pulling your weight. Matthew 6 and 24 or else he would hold to the one and despise the other and that's what happens you have those that can't make up their mind they still want to serve the world they're not sure if they want to serve the Shai. That's a that's a very 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 dangerous position to be in in this truth not knowing you're stuck in the middle because you're lukewarm so if you're lukewarm, that means you're neither hot and cold. That means you're, you're like that and your, mi your mindset is neither hot and cold. So your whole mindset's going to be like that. That's why you don't want to be lukewarm. Because your mindset's going to be of a lukewarm mind. Okay? And you're not going to be able to judge properly. Okay? At all. You understand? You cannot serve the most high and mammon. So the scriptures... Are straight to the point. You cannot serve the Most High and Mammon. It doesn't work like that. Okay. Serve a one or the other. Gotta make up your mind. Okay. Or you have a shower make it out for you. You understand? Therefore, I spare me just a minute. Yeah, that's it on that. That's it on that one. Okay. It's not optional. Okay. It's not optional. <coughs> Excuse me. It's not optional serving your house shy. Okay. Like, like you. No. Again, you don't really have no choice. Because if you don't, it's going to be a punishment. Okay, that's what our people don't understand. You know, we've been calling this truth to labor. Okay, 
And you have what? It's going to test every man according to his works. It's going to judge every man according to his works. See what else we can get. Okay, this is Jeremiah 1 and 5. Before I formed thee. So before Jeremiah was even formed. Before he was even formed. Before he was even conceived. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. So before Jeremiah was even formed in his mother's belly, he said, I knew thee. So he was known. Okay? And before thou camest forth out of the womb, okay? I sanctified thee. So before even Jeremiah came out of the womb, he was sanctified, made holy. Because he was what? Of them first fruits. He was of the elect. Jeremiah, he never made himself of the elect. It was just that he was of the elect. You understand? And I ordained thee to be a prophet unto the nations. So Jeremiah was ordained to be a prophet unto the nations. Just like the men of the Lord today. They're ordained to be prophets. We didn't choose to do this. Okay. You see how we shine. Okay. He's the one that, that falls. It's not a thing of ourselves, okay? Unto the nation, so the prophets, they're of a very, very high ranking, higher than the kings, because they've been ordained to be prophets over the nations. So you've got to walk in that spirit as well, okay? The Lord has ordained you. The Lord has selected you. Speak these words of prophecy. Okay. Then said I, oh, I, oh Lord, power, behold, I cannot speak for I'm a child. Because Jeremiah was very young when he was speaking. He was young. But the Lord Jehovah said unto me, Say not I am a child. Okay, in other words, don't make excuses, because men they come to this truth and they make excuses. Say not I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee. So that's what was commanded to Jeremiah. It was said he was going to go into where he was sent. No excuses. Okay, you're going to go where I send thee. And whatsoever I command thee, and Jesus was blind for them, Jesus was blind for no blind for Okay. Columbia. Okay? And whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Okay? So whatever we're commanded by Yahweh Shai, we're going to speak. Okay? These are not our own words. These are the words from the Heavenly Father. I don't know what I'm going to say when I come out here. It's Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai that puts these words in my mouth. Okay? Where was that? When the Lord said unto me, Say not I am a child, for thou shalt go to wherever I shall send thee. And wheresoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. So wherever we command thee to go, that's where we go. And we speak these words. And whoever don't receive us, we shake the dust off our feet. And I've had to do that. On, on one occasion. But then we find another place. Okay? find another destination okay so when those don't, don't receive you just go to another spot because the scripture says we are as pilgrims upon this earth and what do pilgrims do constantly keep it moving okay just like the Irish the Irish don't have one particular place that's why they call them travelers because they're always moving but it's the same with us in this ministry we're constantly on the move. The Abishai said he had nowhere to rest his head. Okay. 
The foxes have holes and the birds have nests, but the son of man of nowhere to rest his head. So it's the same in the middle of the And that doesn't mean in a physical sense you don't have nowhere to rest your head. That means you have no certain dwelling place. That's what it means. You're dwelling on the roof. Okay? So we gotta speak these words. We gotta speak these words unto our people. It's not to Amos. Excuse me. Scrap Amos. And Yahabashai will always see you through. Amos 3, I believe it's 3 and 18. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Go to Amos 3. Our lucky is Amos 3 and 7. Start at 6. Surely a trumpet shall a trumpet be blown. That trumpet is being blown right now. We're blowing that trumpet. And the trumpet is our voice. Okay, because this word is also referred to as musical instrument. Okay, so shall a trumpet be blown in the city? And right now we're in the city. We're in the city of London. Okay. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people be not afraid? So really, when the people hear these words, they're supposed to be afraid. They're supposed to be trembling, but they're not because what they're in a in a in a in a in a, in a mindset of what foolishness, stupidity, mirth. Because in the ancient world, when you blow a trumpet, that would get people what ready. That would warn them. So that trumpet is being blown, and the people shall not be afraid. Okay, so really, these people are supposed to be shooken up. You understand? Where shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? So all, even the evils you see, you see how is Shai doing that? It's him doing these evils. The evil comes from him. Okay? Surely the Lord Jehovah Shai will do nothing but he revealeth. So what's Yahweh Shai revealing? These secrets un to the prophets. So the secrets of the Lord Yahushai are revealed unto the prophets. Which are the mysteries. Okay? They've been revealed unto us. And we're, we're, we're revealing it unto the world. Those that have eyes to see and ears to hear. So if you've got ears to hear, you're going to receive the secrets. We can also go to that Matthew 13. Let's go to Matthew 13. And you know what? You know what? You know what? Let's go to Daniel's. Because even with the nation of Israel, there's a selection. Even within, even within our nation, it's not for everybody. That's why you've got an elect, a remnant, those that are going to receive this word. Okay, let's go to Daniel's 12. Okay, Daniel's 12, see if I can find it. Daniel's 12, and see if I can find it. Um, here it is, I found it. This is Daniel 12 and 10. Many shall be purified. Okay. So the many that are going to be purified are the hopeful elect. 
and how they're going to be purified through the trials. That's how the elect are being purified. So many shall be purified, and purified means to be purged. So how are we purged? By these afflictions, by these experiences. Okay? That's what it means to be purged. Because what that what that gold? And if you know anything about gold, gold needs to be what? Put through that fire. Because we still we still got ways about us that need to be purged away. So that's what Yahshua does, he purges us. The hope the hopes were left. Okay? And made white, because white represents purity. Okay? So again, what one be made white? Okay? Which means pure, clean. Through this word, and tried. So the elect are going to be tried. So it's given you the signs of who the hopeful elect are. Because people say, well, we don't know. What is science? Okay? But the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand. The scripture says the wicked are going to do wickedly. And none of the wicked are going to understand this word. Okay? Why? Because they're wicked. They're not trying to repent. The scriptures tell us. And none of the wicked shall understand. But the wise shall understand. So the wise were going to understand. The scripture says none of the wicked shall understand. Now let's go to Matthew 13. To what do you have by Shem, you have a shout for just keeping me flowing in the spirit. Okay, let's go to Matthew. It says none of the wicked shall understand. This is speaking about Esau. And it's also speaking about the wicked of our nation also. Okay. Let's go to Matthew 13, Baba Kasha. Let's go to Matthew 13. And go to that parable. That's his Matthew, this is Matthew 13. And let's start at 9. Who have ears to hear? Let him hear. Who have ears? So what's he talking about? Them spiritual ears. Okay, because all of us have ears. It's speaking about them spiritual ears. It really begins with your mind. Okay. Those that have ears to hear, let them hear. Okay. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? So this is what the disciples were asking Yahweh Shai. Why are you speaking to the people in parables? In riddles. Okay. And these women are hella proud as well. Thinking their shit don't stink. But that's alright. When you can't go to the hair salon, when you can't get your nails done, <laughs> then we gonna see, we're gonna see that pride, pride go straight out the flipping window. Proud as hell. What these sluts walking about. Excuse my language. But that's what they are. Okay. Most of them. Let's continue where we were. Verse 10. Flick it, flicking our eyelids. You, you best mind your eyelids don't get stuck like that. Okay. Let's go to Matthew 13 and 10. The disciples came and said. Okay. And to him. Why speak unto them in parables? This is what the disciples were asking. Why are you speaking to us in parables? Dark riddles. This is what they were asking. Okay. This is what they were actually asking. Because, again, it wasn't given for the whole world. It was only given to a remnant. You understand? He answered. And said unto him, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. So you've got to be blessed. Look, you're blessed. It was given unto you to know the mysteries. And when you go to that word mystery, it's mysterio in the Greek. Mysterio. And when he you, when you, explains it, a mystery that's hidden from the masses of the people. Okay? That's hidden from the ungodly and given to the godly. 
that's what a mystery is and it says hidden from the ungodly and given to the godly so the Lord has stained you godly to get this word so you've got to be thankful you've got to be appreciative because the Lord Jehoshai he could have just left you out there you understand what I'm saying? So he's showing you these mysteries. Because the mysteries ain't been shown to everybody. Even those that know they're Israelites. The mystery ain't been shown to them. That's why you're going to be grateful. And he was given out to disciples to know the mysteries of heaven. So that's why these parables were spoken. They were spoken for the elect. They were not spoken for everybody. And that shows the Lord ain't trying to wake up all of our nation. See, you even doing that, don't you know you're going against Yahweh's will? When you're trying to bring all our nation together, that means you're going against the will of Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Because the scriptures don't talk about all our nation coming together. So if you're trying to do that, it's like we're trying to force Yahweh's hand because he's not for that because all of our nation ain't doing the will of Yahweh you understand? and for whosoever have to him shall be given which is this word we're going to be given more and he shall have more abundance okay but whosoever have not from him shall be taken away even that which he have okay I've got to say these people are prideful man these people are, that pride is going to go straight out the window straight out the window so whoever have shall be given more abundance which is his truth and whoever have not shall be taken away that he have I want to go into that topic that pride is that pride is on the ultimate level on an ultimate level people think they, need to, they can just be disrespectful no, all that's going to end okay these people ain't got no manners they're going to be taught some manners and guess who's going to teach them their manners? they have a shy walking about here like they can't be touched that pride the Lord hates pride man he hates that that's one of the things the Lord hates the most bear me just a minute Here it is. This is Proverbs 6. These things stuff the Lord Yahweh Shai hates. So it's telling you what Yahweh Shai hates. Okay? What he despises. Seven of abomination unto him. Horrible things. Detestable things. A proud look. So that's the first thing. A proud look. Someone that has a very proud look. Someone that's very arrogant. The Lord hates that. Okay? A proud look. And you can see when someone's proud. You can see it in their countenance. A proud look. You understand? A lying tongue. Someone that lies as well. Why are you lying? Why are you lying to the brothers? Scriptures, I think it says something in Colossians. Since you have put off the old man, 
lying not one to another. You're not supposed to be lying to brothers. Because if you're going to lie, it's better that you say nothing at all. Just don't say nothing. And that's why certain men, it gets to the point where they don't really believe anything you say because you lie. And you lie to yourself. For, for you to lie to a brother, first you've got to lie to yourself. Stop flipping lying all the time. Okay? Stop telling pork pies. Tell the truth, man. A proud look of lying tongue and hands that shed innocent blood. Okay? That spirit of Cain. Okay? That's what, hands that shed innocent blood. You in that murderous spirit. You know, because of what envy and jealousy. You ain't supposed to be in that spirit. You okay? And has that shed innocent blood. That's what they done. You understand? And heart that devises wicked imaginations. And this also, this is the same thing that Esau does. But our people, they act like Esau. That's why it said in John 8 and 44, you are your father of the devil. And the last of your father will you do. He was a murderer from the beginning. And a bad not in the truth. Feet that be swift, running into mischief. So your feet ain't supposed to be swift, quick, to be running into mischief. That ain't supposed to be happening. Okay? You're quick to run into mischief. Whatever badness is going on, you're, you're, you're the first one there. You're so, right, really, you're supposed to be doing that in righteousness. When there's something good going on, you're supposed to be quick to run to that. But our people, when, see, when some madness happens, they're quick to run to that. But tell our people to do something good. No, 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 they don't want to do that. Okay? Because our people are rebellious. Okay? Rebellious as hell. Okay? A false witness. The Lord Yahshua even hates that. He hates a false witness. Okay? And for you to be a false witness, that means you're a liar. You lie all the time. Okay? The same spirit of Esau. So if you have these attributes, this is why you got to watch out. If you have these attributes, what do you think you're going to do? You're going to end up what? Selling out someone? Or even giving them up to the authorities? Because the scripture says that even brother shall do that in these last days. Brother shall deliver up brother. That ain't just talking about your 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 um your physical brother. That's speaking about your brother, your so-called brother in the truth. Yes, that's who that's speaking about also. So this is what was gonna happen. You understand? You know? That's why you gotta be circumspect. Who is around you? What they are teaching? Are they for you? How are they? Because if they're not, you better get the hell around. Get the get the hell around around from them. Because they're just an agent in the matrix, and they're liable to do anything. You understand? Why well, you gotta be circumspect in these times? Okay? That speak of lies and what else? And he that soweth this God. So you're not supposed to be sowing any discord among the brethren. What are you saw in this court? A brother's example. You may have men teaching at the camp. And what what's it what's the example? Not as wrong with um liking another brother more than another, but a brother speaking about something, you're trying to change the topic. That's diversion. Okay? Are you trying, you're trying to change the topic. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. You've got men, they can't, they can't deal with the truth. Because the truth has no place in them. Let's go to John 8 and 
I think it's 44. We're going to go to John 8 and 44. Okay? You've got, you've got to be willing to what? Accept this truth. And then it's not you that accepts it, it's your Arashai that accepts it. It's not up to you. Okay? You are your father, the devil. Because you've got men, particular, script, particular scriptures will come out and they try to change the subject. Or they try to throw the spirit off. Yeah, I'm sure if you, if you continue doing that, yeah, I'm sure it's going to jack your ass up. But, you might even kill you. How it is we're going into a topic and you're completely going into something that has nothing to do with the topic. Why are you doing that for? Because you're a fucking demon, that's why. And when I call someone a demon, it's not just for no reason. When I say that, I mean it. Because there's a demon on an individual. Okay? A lot of guys, they, a lot of guys, they come around, they come around the truth. They come around the truth. They're not in the truth. They come around it, but they don't accept it. Because you're of your father, the devil. Okay? And this whole thing about the Most High, the Most High told me this. The Most, the most High didn't tell you nothing. Satan told you that. That's who told you that. Okay? About the Most High. Like you, all of a sudden you had an epiphany. Like the Most High is dealing with you, you, you himself. If he was, you'd, you'd be able to understand the basics of things. You can't have, you got men that talk about the Most High. But they can't even understand the base. They can't, they can't even do a video on salvation. On Yahweh Shai. But they want to talk about the Most High. The Most High ain't dealing with you on that level. And that, that's, where, that's pride. That's pride. You got men that walk about, you know, with their chest all out. By the most high, the most high told you nothing. So stop saying that. You gotta go for Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the intercessor. You know? About the most high. You don't know the most high. And you can shake your head, but this is the truth. Okay? And Allah ain't gonna save you. You got the Muslims praying to Allah five times a day, but they're still getting bombed. What rubbish is that? The reason why you can't accept this truth because this world has no place in you. Because you're the devil. And I'm right now, this anger is good because I'm channeling it in the right way. Anger can be used to channel in the right way. But the most high. Sick of individuals saying that. But you ask them a simple thing. A simple thing. They can't tell you. Or they come to the camp. You bring out, you bring out the words of the most high. They can't receive it. He's, 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 he's facing you, he's facing you, but his legs are this way, which is a sign of dis discontent, as a sign that he's uncomfortable, you know? Because yeah, again, we don't, I don't really go into body language, but yeah, body language does give it away. You can see when someone's uncomfortable with the words. So if you're so much uncomfortable, and you really don't like what we're saying, just go, just leave. Why are you hanging about? Just go, man. We don't need you here. Just a fucking hindrance. And if you don't like my swearing, too fucking bad. Because the men of law, they, they swore. You getting offended about swearing. Don't watch the video then. Because a lot of these movies you watch, they have swearing in it as well. That's why a lot of them says uh, PG, parental guidance. But that's how people are hypocrites, especially Christians. But we're going to get stick to them. Bear me just a minute. Let's get straight to it. It's John 8. Okay. And 37. Bear me just a minute. 
I know that you are Abraham's seed, so again, you might be of the seed of Abraham, that's cool, but this is about an elect, okay? So what? Yeah, you know you're the seed of Abraham, you come from that lineage, but you still might be a demon, okay? That, that's, that's came back in this, this lifetime to become a demon, okay? I know that you're Abraham's seed, so yeah, you're Abraham's seed, but you seek to kill me, okay? So yeah, you're of Abraham's seed, but guess what? You have those that are of Abraham's seed, that's what? Seek to kill us. Why? There's a reason why, okay? Because my word has no place in you. So this word, it doesn't have a place in everybody. This word doesn't have a place in all of our people. You understand? So if this word it doesn't have a place in our people, what are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? They're gonna chat a whole bunch of gibberish and come up against the word, only to their own destruction. Only to their own destruction. Okay? And these these words have no place in you because it's not for you. Okay? I speak which I have seen with my father. That's what I'm doing. I'm just speaking what I have seen with my father. Okay? Which is the words of Yahushai. That's what Yahushai was doing. And he was speaking the words that were given to him by the father. Okay? And that was it. You understand? And you do which you have seen with your father. So this is what Yahweh was saying. <laughs> I'm speaking the words of my father, but you do what you, but bear me, but you do what you have seen with your father. And what was Yahweh referring to? The Herodians, because you had the Israelites at that particular time. They were under what the rulership of the Romans. Okay. They were taking what orders 